we'll see. There was a raid down here not too long ago. Minutes ago. These things are fast. It's around 3, uh, 30. Is it over? Yeah. Okay, I came down here in like eight minutes. But, uh, it is over. That was quick, man. We'll try and see what the deal is. We're at the corner of uh, Warden Baratania. It's been a while since they had a raid that was actually predicted. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of face the camera away. And uh, how's it? I'm facing the camera away. They take stuff? They didn't never take stuff. They took signs. They took signs. They took signs. They took the, um, the signs that against the, um, these signs. Yeah, they the signs. That, yeah. I remember the good signs, the new red red ones. Yes, they took those. They took that. those. Oh, I got pictures of those. They didn't even take had three guys, three guys come over and started writing on them. Too. Shit, man. They tag stuff. No, they didn't tag. They just came and took shit and left. I don't know who even knows the majority of what they took because all the bullshit still here. Yeah. I don't know, man. I'm kind of glad not to see them here. I, right. I got the little beep. I came down in like seven minutes. Too slow. Yeah, they was in and out, man. They was, I mean, I don't know what they was doing, man. They just took the signs and stuff. And That's they, interesting. They okay. up over there. Must have been like park crews. They had police and yeah, stuff, Yeah, yeah, right? park crews. Had people in the blue shirts walking around. The blue so, shirt guys. Yeah. I'm pretty sure uh, you better run now. I just got out of the tent. Just got out. No tags. Okay, that was interesting. I'm not, I'm not showing uh, people. Nice shoes and stuff down here. Okay. Well, I got here too slow. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. That was bad. And I can show you, though, huh? Yeah, yeah. No, I got my mask and set and applauded them as they struggled wow. D'Angelo's work and carried plants. I took, they took the plants. They took the plants. That plant that is was in a pot that survived. I have a picture of it uh, from May. Uh, oh, that's a shame. Jeez. Yeah, no. And those signs. I got pictures of those signs uh, Sunday. That's the the red one. New signs. Yeah. Yep. Plus so they got the Bill 54 is unconstitutional. Those are left behind last time. They took the Bill 54 is unconstitutional sign. Yep. Which is kind of, uh. But at least they took all of our broken chairs. <laughs> and the freedom furniture, they took that. The broken chairs were fun to take, but they busted a sprinkler head last time they were here. I got it reported, but we'll see if they actually fixed it. It's actually a roving door. That's interesting. Okay. And this is kind of a. You know, some guy sent me a, uh a video not too long ago of them doing this in uh, Waikiki. So they're just coming in and taking, no tagging. Okay. Very uh, park intensive, yeah? Yeah. I don't think anybody got the chance to get a camera over. Uh, Andy, well, I don't know how quickly Andy got one out. Yeah, I got a, I got a beep saying that Okay, if you just joined us, we got a, we are here uh, in uh, at uh, the Occupy Honolulu. There is the uh, Academy Museum of Art and a rice cook. I got most of the rice. So Andy got it, and I didn't. I was down here in like seven minutes. What time is it? Uh, that raid started at quarter after. 
and see, and it's 3.31 now. <laughs> and I was, I've been here for like six minutes. So like, man, yeah, they were like... Be, it only lasts about nine minutes. Nine minutes, right. I have a really fucking problem with this right now, because the officers and shit were insulting. Did you get that uh, on uh, tape? Yep. It's good. Making fucking cracks and shit about my acne and, and uh, like shit like that. Whatever. Fuck you. Oh, that's interesting. So I'm going to have a cigarette. I'm going to go. And uh, go run to the bathroom. And then I'm going to HPD. If they wanted to um, see, you recorded the um, you recorded the race, so that'd be at iZombies. Yeah. That'd be at uh, UStream slash channel slash iZombies. I like the letter I. I like the I like the letter I. And they came very quickly. They've got it like down to science didn't tag anything. They, this is a park raid, and people will wonder uh, where the park is. Well, you can see this sidewalk here. This, I'm in the, uh, on the sidewalk now, and I'm in the park now. I'm actually illegally in the park. Considering it's the same exact pattern of concrete, I don't know how they actually... Yeah. Or how the public is supposed to know that difference, considering the signs are way back there and completely unreadable from here, and everything looks the same. And everything looks the same. It's actually, uh, and you'll see park signs right up here where it seems like there is a park uh, boundary itself, and you can't even see it. It's dark, but there is a wall that runs here that is the common sense border of the park. They did come uh, on December 29, uh, 2011, and then they uh, redrew uh, park boundaries. I think there are white blots. The famous pepper plant was taken. It's a potted plant, a potted pepper plant. You just got seeds for tomatoes. Oh, man. And I gave them a, gave them a deck right in the pie a while ago, so we can't believe Erie, Pennsylvania. Yay, my own state. <laughs> <laughs> Born in Oil City. Now, if you're from Erie, this will seem strange. There, uh, there's an encampment, but it's right next to the side of the road. That's because it's under the supposed protection of the Kanavai Mamalahoi, the law of the splintered paddle. Of course, I say supposed protection. Andy, tell us what. So, what's up? If, <coughs> if people want to, is there so something they, going they on? They came in and uh, they decided to take signs from the park, a couple chairs, but most of the material that was stolen was uh, First Amendment material. So, the city came in at like a little after quarter after three in that neighborhood and decided that uh, they were going to break the First Amendment. So, nothing new for the city. They took signs. Okay, well, we have a few viewers here. Let's see. Said we had that here last year. In Pennsylvania. Okay, it's 3.30 uh, a.m. Uh, here in uh, Honolulu. So they didn't take the tents. It was apparently a park crews. They're using uh, 
redrawn park boundaries to declare things abandoned in the park, although the statute changed. I don't know if they can do that legally. Because 11-029 actually takes the place of the abandoned park, abandoned property in the park statute. Of course, that's the law, and it doesn't really matter, <laughs> because they can pretty much do anything they want. Other day, the other dollar wasted. I tell you, they didn't have heavy. Did they have heavy equipment and yeah. trucks and the whole bit? They had the whole dumpster. That they were just putting other stuff straight into. Flat out spraying, you know, tagging, no notification, uh, just flat out doing. Were there any. Were the. Like thieves in the night. Was uh, Wesh Chun or uh, Trish involved in this? No, cops and losers. <coughs> okay, it was just, just the park the crew. Yeah, no, I, you know, they're copying my style, and I, I'm kind of resentful of that. Okay. Yeah, and, and we were expecting a raid tomorrow during the day. Oh, that's um, right. It was. found out, actually, yesterday that they had, I, we never see the caravan from where we're at, from the angle we're at, but they were, the caravan was by today and found out that they tend to come out the day before raids. Ah, okay. So they're actually synced up with the city for every two weeks at all the different locations. And my, I was looking at my sheet and it looked like, well, it's about time this week. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't tag anything. Is there a separate crew going to come out in a day or two? We'll, we'll see what happens with we'll that see. date. We'll, we'll see, see what happens. We'll see what happens. Two dates in, in you know, 24 yeah. hour period. That means it's They really like it. Now, um, there is an off art after dark schedule Friday. Is that still on? It was yeah, yeah. during the day, right? It's like when they did it in Chinatown near my house. One of those stuff last week. Yeah, they. They came right back to that one. All the parts. Yeah, no, they, they tend to have a cycle of every two weeks. Now, uh, was that all last week, or was that the that week That was last week during the day, yeah. I would be very interested to hear if they, if they do that. <coughs> they do that. Or if they do that next week. That park, and then uh, by the side of my friend's uh, Dude, if you let us know if you know places that were tagged, let us know that day so we can get out there and live stream them. Coming yeah, to yeah. Oh yeah, no, this was, yeah, just, you know, this was out of like pattern. But you know, Car Carlyer's on his way out. I don't know anything He's having some you. shindigs right before election. Yep. It's referring yeah, to Mayor Carlyle, who's, who's the anywhere outgoing anywhere mayor. Because then we'll come the next day and we'll film them confiscating shit. We'll film what's been tagged and not tagged. Because right now we're working on building cases. That'd be great, yeah. Yeah, no, this was uh, non-standard. But no, it's it's coming up right before elections. God forbid there be signs out. And I didn't see anything else really in that stuff. I really do think it was a specialty raid just for us. Hmm. Or I might go check uh, Mo'ili Ili, where they have a fairly big uh, organized encampment. That seems like on similar schedule. I'm pretty sure they check came that. from Stadium Park. And that they came from there. I'm pretty sure they yeah. did. Yeah. If anyone saw it there, we did. Because I know they sometimes go from here to there. Oh, we really need to do... Uh, 
one of these days. I don't know if you're available to us, but after they come and tag here, yeah. follow them. Yeah, I'd really yeah. love to do that. So that we can then film. That's part of the necessity. Yeah. You know, a block away from Safeway, that you know, for our park. case. You go in there, <coughs> and then they'll go hit on <coughs> some parts of Ala Park. Ala Park, there, like that. And then they'll also hit on Kapui Street. I might, I might go run and try and catch him. What do you think? Around Kmart, around the block, so no, around there by Govinda's juices. Yeah. Yeah, seriously, Doug. If we're gonna end up being guilty, we need documentation besides our cam. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know there's at least one guy in Waikiki he had a. He had a cam. It wasn't live streaming, but he emailed me the the video. Huh? Yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> that's cool. I would love to see that. I might run and try and catch him. What do you think? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna go. I got a couple ideas where they might be. So I'm gonna. Uh, yeah. You're going down to HPD. Huh? You're going down to HPD. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do at HPD? Long chat. Okay, that might be uh, live streamable. You're gonna, you got, you're gonna, you're gonna cover it though, right? At Eye Zombies. Okay, well we're covered there. I'm gonna go see if I can catch him, yeah, and then keep an eye on eye zombies and then I'll the next half hour here. Okay, people following. Um, I'm gonna go out so I can drive down see if I can catch the crews. Uh, you should follow. It's not on yet, but you should follow UStream channel Eye Zombies. That's UStream.tv slash channel slash Eye Zombies. I in the letter I. Eye Zombies. Um, and um, that'll be Andy or Andy's camera person <laughs> documenting a trip to the police station, which is like, oh, like a half a block that away. Meanwhile, I am going to go and uh, see if I can catch that park crew and catch them at another camp. And uh, we may come back here. We may meet up. Right. And this is from uh, Deoccupy Honolulu, corner of Ward and Baritania, uh, with an encampment on on the sidewalk. Uh, under the protection of the law of the splintered paddles, supposedly. That's, that's not followed much here. And I will show you that there were a number of signs, nice new signs, in here. And this is the area of the original encampment uh, before uh, December 29. And then they decided to move the park boundaries. I don't know if you can see by my shadow. Right above my shadow, there's a uh, white blot. They're saying that that is the park boundary. Uh, but I don't think it really is. You know, parks have to be marked with plaques and that kind of thing. That's what a... Uh, that's what a... Uh, didn't take this sign, which is good. I'm walking around the corner. This is Ward. And you'll see this is where common sense says the park begins because there's a visible boundary, in this case, uh, the hedge, and a park sign. That gives the park closing time and that kind of thing. And, uh, there's the, the wall. So, in other words, this dot indicates that 
I'm on the sidewalk now, and I'm on the park now, sidewalk now, park now. This hasn't been tested uh, under the law. Nothing really has because uh, there are no, really no attorneys uh, have taken up the uh, cause. I'm crossing the street. I'm going to turn around so we can get a picture. This will be very full of uh, traffic in a couple of hours. I'm signing off, but uh, okay, I'm live at uh, Occupy World News. Uh, if you're just joining us, I'm at the corner of uh, Ward and Baratania. This is Ward. That's Baratania. That huge uh, thing that looks like some rich old woman's mansion is the former Anna Rice Cook estate across from which is Thomas Square and along the street is uh, the Occupy Honolulu that just suffered its 47th raid. This was a park raid, kind of a new variety of raid. And what that is, is uh, park crews coming in and not tagging anything, but just taking anything they say is inside uh, the park which in this case was uh, what we call freedom furniture. It was furniture gleaned uh, from sidewalks and whatnot, used for food not bombs, for a public forum, and that kind of thing. A uh, bunch of new signs. Uh, there are always a lot of new signs here because they get taken. Um, and then uh, they left. And uh, this is actually a good nighttime shot of the encampment area. Uh, interestingly, that uh, huge uh, house, Anna Rice Cook's former estate, is now a art museum. Uh, Anna Rice Cook was the married to Charles Montague Cook, who was the son of the Cook of Castle and Cook, one of the first big five land and sugar barons who profited tremendously off the uh, theft of uh, Hawaiian lands. Uh, one of the reasons why the local group is called De Occupy Honolulu rather than Occupy Honolulu is uh, because uh, Hawaii is already illegally occupied by the U.S. military. So when the naming came even though we are uh, affiliated with Occupy Wall Street, the name is Deoccupy. The word occupation has uh, kind of a bad, uh, incorrect meaning here. And this is the iconic uh, first insurance building that you'll see in the background of all the shots. This helps locate you. I'm about to sign off. Signing off from Honolulu. I'm going to try and run and find uh, the other where, where the crews have gone, so maybe I catch them uh, stealing uh, from the homeless and other camps. So I may be back on. Uh, Andy is planning to go to the police station, so he'll you can join him at. Uh, you stream channel I zombies. He's not up yet, but uh, in a couple of minutes. And I may be back in a few minutes. So um, follow my channel or Twitter, hdug, at hdug, H-D-O-U-G. I'm signing off for now.